Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive uh, campaign where I'm trying to survive against the massive brood mother and uh, their hive. It's uh, time for Operation Frost Wagon, recovery of an item from the advent train and the good part is any mission timer will not start until the squad breaks concealment. Which is cool because we could recover that uh, train item uh, with our um, with our Reaper relatively safely. So we're getting the B team in: Hayward, Noxus, Roro, Haunt, Striker, aka Ender Sanders, and uh, the EDM. So let's give it a go and see how well we can withstand the problems. I I won't uh, risk anything, so the, at the first sign of uh, problems, I'm going to be the fuck out of there. Uh, you can rest assured. Good, we landed. The game gave us high ground, and uh, that is because I just backed it to do that. No, in all uh, honesty, it was random, but I absolutely love it. Great having high ground. Super heavy turret over there. That's on the other hand not so great. Ooh. There is the option for remote start, but this remote start would be rather large. I'm not sure um, if it would allow us. I'm not sure if it would allow us to uh, remote start that. This looks a bit close. Hmm. Could move to here. I like the remote hack as well. Would be cool if we could get it from here. Or just kind of from up here, really. Yeah, let's rush and see if we can just bypass the enemies. In the meantime, we don't know if there's anyone on this side. But how about? No need to ask twice. How about we're moving all the way over here, and then we'll just take um, this cover, which kind of gives us cover up um, to the north direction. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned that these guys might be jumping up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, that changes things. Uh, we will not lose concealment. So wait, I could position myself here, which is the perfect position because no one can reveal us there. As you order, I like Commander. that. And we can see everything. Uh, hmm. hmm. Not sure if I should even get involved. This looks like one of those situations where it's just best to not get involved at all. I got the distinct feeling Advent and the Feral Hive will very soon go at each other. And maybe there's even the slightest chance that they will kill that big fat brood mother. Which of course would be fantastic for us, right? Because we can't definitely kill the queen ourselves, but if someone else would uh, injure it far enough, then that would be awesome. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. Oh, 
I really dislike that. Respawns in the middle of us. So yeah, okay. Well, just don't be annoyed, Saiken. It is what it is. Okay, well, alien reinforcements inbound. Yeah, shred that queen. Movement is crippled, that's good. Yeah, without any real reason they are rushing upwards to us. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Because yeah, sure, why not? That was loud. More of them coming in. Sure, yeah. Look, we might find ourselves very much outgunned and outnumbered. So just for our own recollection, right? I was in full concealment, half a map away from the actual uh, fight. When all of this here happened, and I'm loosely using air quotes in, uh, in terms of this, because that's some next level XCOM bullshit. Wow. Yeah, that would be great. Unfortunately, it would definitely hit the, uh, the crate. Tough, tough shit. Not sure how to deal with that. So, I mean, look. This here doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, if we're hitting this thing, this turret would be destroyed as well. Okay, mm -hmm. sacrifices must be made. Hearing mechanical movement can only assume it might be a spark somewhere down uh, stairs. But that will be a chain explosion, hopefully destroying the super heavy turret. Oh no, one damage, too little. Good. That here.
needs to be solved as well. Need to get away from the car. Because I know it's going to blow up in a second. Roro moves a tiny bit back. Come on, can't be that difficult to place a mine there. That will explode the car. I think this guy here is still adjacent, so he should die as well. Good. Successfully killed him. As well as most of the other uh, chrysalids. These three are quasi already dead. Ignore those three. Say Hit one of them instead. I definitely got that one. Kill the swarmer. Um running and gunning slightly forward mainly to attract the other chrysalids to me because the M uh, has the ability to uh, parry a melee attack good that's one down and this will be the turret plus follow-up explosions Turret did not die. Funnily enough. Yeah, these remote starts wouldn't really help. Not at the moment. Um, hmm. I guess I could shred the tower or next turn just explore it and let it uh, kill automatically with a grenade or we hack it next turn which isn't the worst idea ever in this case let's just get rid of the brood mother which I think is responsible for the spawns or for part of the spawns that is Damn it. A stun lancer. Of course. Well, there are a lot of just chameleons sitting around at the moment. My hope is they are going for the downstairs targets. 
my hope is also that the queen continuously will get shredded. That was a harsh hit. Interesting that the uh, Chrysalid Queen is not taking any uh, any shredding, rupturing rather, but we are. Not sure how, how that works or why that does not work for her. She seems to be immune to it. Yeah, call the Fucking uh, reinforcements downstairs, please. In okay. Yeah, I really... I really didn't uh, do myself a favor with all of uh, the... Double packs and immediate action... Uh, mm, or reactions. It begins to make that whole... Uh, just... Okay, very loud. Anyways, it begins to make the whole reinforcements mechanic uh, too overbearing. Because really, what am I supposed to do when there are seven or eight enemies coming in? Oh yeah, sure, the station pit. Oh, a new Hive Warrior immediately comes out. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, makes sense. Totally makes sense. Okay. Fun fact, this is just chrysalids versus chrysalids at this point. Can we get a remote hack? Well, the answer is sort of. Good, we're taking another non uh, flankable position. And I think we can all agree that this triplet uh, pack Wait, what? Okay, so Hmm. Well, that's the beauty about Iron Man. Those things just sometimes happen and uh, you have no way of fighting back. Uh, this mission begins uh, to, or starts to be more and more of a problem. So. 
Adrenaline rush into Hayward needs healing. I'm not sure, maybe it hasn't really fully exploded. If that's the case, then this should solve the problem. Uh, it sort of did. Sort of. It's burning, so it'll definitely take some more damage. In the meantime, I'll just keep kill the guys upstairs here. Kill and to move here, that way we can parry him and prevent him from coming closer. And hopefully kill this thing, but no, that's not happening. We could get rid of the tower relatively easy yeah, I can't stand in the open Roro needs cover I'm wondering though do we want to use the mimic beacon better use it now before we take too much damage Why exactly is this guy who, mind you, hasn't even seen the Mimic Beacon starting to attack it? Same question. There are plenty of aliens downstairs. face off wow nice I would like to have face off but unfortunately that's not working uh, why didn't we parry instead of having untouchable that would have uh, given us some more uh, damage back. All right, they are all focusing the Chrysalid Hive Queen. Fair enough. I 
just have to wonder how are we supposed to end this in six turns Okay, has she just mind control? Yeah. Alright, so she simply decides to mind control a couple of these things. I was really thinking we could uh, win this. But my learning is, is this is so random. Good, so small ripper. It really doesn't matter. And these things are healing. Well, fantastic. Yeah, and they are starting to begin to heal each other, which is... Oh. It is well designed, but... Uh, I'm getting the Starship Troopers effect because it's just too much. Oh, okay, okay, frozen. Well, thank you. Good, we're reloading. Listen, combat protocol, nine points of damage, heavy mech is gone. Good, now it's a question of how do we deal with the rest here. I still would like to move forward and somehow get to the hack, but this looks incredibly unlikely. Okay, so I got one. Good, tower down. Again, moving over here. Um. Could theoretically move up and blow that stuff up. Let's do this. Good, we are immune to his melee attack. So we're just going to block that side for now. Okay, there were smaller ones, yeah. That's not a 100% kill, but that here would be one. A very likely kill.
taking the healing ones out for now. We might be able to actually kill uh, this guy. On the other hand, how about we're just killing the reinforcements that can literally freeze us. Good, problem solved. Come on, kill that swarmer. Are you kidding me? So instead of going for the swarmer, he was of the opinion that it is better to fight us. I like the target selection. It just makes so much sense. It doesn't bother me when uh, when I'm only fighting against Advent because if they have a poor target selection, it's to our advantage. But if we have kind of a three-way tie and they just decide to be silly... Oh yeah, we didn't have reinforcements for a while. I was already getting bored. Okay, these guys are fighting each other. And the Ripper should die. Very good, at least our parry has been used. Looks like they called into fray. Yeah, just hit the civilians, sure. We can't even get closer to that stupid detonator. More of them coming in. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this is happening. I think oh, this will be a mission abort. I don't see how how I can get through all of this. It's just too much. Might be able to squeeze out a situation where uh, we... Yeah, it might be able for us to squeeze out a situation where we can get uh, that and uh, then just get out of here. But this is... Incredibly frustrating. Even under quote unquote perfect uh, circumstances, I wouldn't know how we, uh, and perfect meaning, we take the hack, uh, the tower is ours, or even kind of a mech, and we're just continuing to fight and they fight each other. I'm not even sure how we're going to deal with all of the reinforcements. The problem is the reinforcements always uh, seem to spawn next to the player, and that in itself is a real challenge. Add towards it that or having like six enem uh, enemies from each side that are uh, spawning. It just is too much.
Good. Well, we're getting out of here. No, no, no. Yes, let's get that hunter. Evic, both of you. Then we got this here. Which is Roro's way of saying thank you. Good, and then we got this here. Pfft, not even a kill, okay, cool. Okay, well, Claymore down there, and whilst we're at it, let's teach these guys a lesson. Good, so now the only question is if the Sky Ranger cooldown comes up in like three-ish turns. If the answer is yes, then great, because then I can do a little play by moving down and immediately evacuating. If the answer is no, then unfortunate, because it would mean we need to just evac haunt <coughs> at the current zone. Which means not only will the dark event go through, we're also going to lose uh, the area on top of it. Interesting enough this time, our guys are not uh, standing around, so... The reinforcements should spawn somewhere else. It's also a very interesting mechanic um, where basically both sides spawn chrysalid reinforcements and then the Hive Queen just can mind control all of them. What an F up situation. The only saving grace is chrysalids can't put chrysalids eggs into one another because they are luckily immune to poison. I wonder if they sh uh, if they would uh, summon more gestation pits. Well, it seems that the that the hive definitely gets the better end here. Right. 
see how the game tries to squat us out. It has put its little um, its little chrysalids all around us just to accidentally run into us, but this is one of the few spots where that is not possible. would not be too bad. Let's remote start down here. Our world is dangerous. Couple extra kills. So I very much hope we can reposition the Sky Ranger. Edwin just kills its own troops. Funny, right? How all of a sudden the respawns every round stop. <laughs> the reinforcements mechanic is messed up. I should have looked into the mods and just tried to get it done, uh, get it out. begins to heal for 20 hit points like all of the damage that was done to, uh, to the queen is gone yeah one thing that I learned is you can't defeat the queen with chrysalids she's just not having it What I've also learned is we are being surrounded by dozens of chrysalids in an attempt to scout us out, but we've uh, secured one of the rare spots where, where we will be safe. Yeah, immune. Two more turns. Sky Ranger is still cooling down. Too dangerous. I know exactly that they want to scout me out. No, 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 no. We're calling the Sky Ranger, then going down and then finishing it. Um. For the time being. Let's just vector rifle and sting her. She's shredded. That's about all we can do for now. Yeah, come on. Kill that gestation pit. Which interestingly enough hasn't uh, summoned anything for a while. Good, next turn we're going to see whether or not this mission is even doable. Oh look at you, chameleon versus chameleon. That's going to be a, a tough one. Funnily enough, I'm not even sure. Nah, now I am sure. I was about to say, if no reinforcements were to come, 
not even sure how this is going to turn out. There would have been a slight chance that we could have just started to clean up more and more enemies. But with continuous reinforcements there is just no way. It's not happening. Yeah, and they still have these quintuple uh, packs in backup. Backup always comes as long as one chameleon is alive, and I think the uh, the misplaced logic here is that for whatever reason, chameleons can be in reinforcement packs, so you sort of end up with a never-ending chain of chameleons. I'm just going to try to counter the dark event and get out of here, but that requires. Uh, the Sky Ranger to no longer be on cooldown, please. I think it was three rounds. I might be wrong. Nice, of course. The queen is being healed. She dropped to 125 hit points at her lowest. And ever since she's getting kind of re-healed. She strikes me as the type of enemy where you want uh, to have original repeaters. Just so that you can like continuously hit her and at some point it then says executed. Haha <laughs> lol. Um, we need emergency extraction. Oh yeah. Hacking the chest and then we're going to emergency go out. Uh, yeah, why not? I will bring it back first. One five. Status confirmed. Good. That at least, that little trick, gives us a Fyrrhic victory. We lost the area, but we at least uh, saved our dignity um, and the dark event did not come through. I appreciate how the game just tells me it was a poor performance. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what uh, to do about uh, these reinforcements. Weapon hot seems to be the only thing that counters it, so I would potentially need to run like two marines just to continuously pump out uh, reaction shots. We killed 50 enemies. Hayward, so gain the ability to equip heavy weapons regardless of worn armor, that's great. Heavy weapons gain plus one charge. Ooh, ooh, that's not bad. ABC gain plus one initial charge and recharge one turn faster. And no more shared cooldown, um, so you could use two uh, protocols in one turn. Attempt to uh, a more difficult hack that can self-destruct or grant permanent control for the rest of the mission. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. All three are ultra good. Hmm. Full override sounds awesome. The protocols are okay. I can deal with them relatively well, but full override really sounds good. However, protocol fail full um, will not deduct the charge, but will trigger a three turn. Okay, yeah. Attempt a hack that can self-destruct or grant permanent control. Okay. Cool. Hello. 
Well, we got uh, infestation countered, so no chrysalids on all of the missions. Uh, yeah, but we already have like eight permanent dark events, so... And since this was our starting region, we didn't even lose the region. How cool is that? Well, take that game. Mwah. Okay, um... Kind of go to a sorted loot that could be a superior PCS. But then again, Intel isn't bad either. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, let's get some Intel. Tactical sense defenses. Uh, let me just double check what exactly was the benefit here. Two mobility for defense, and we are currently rocking tactical withdrawal, which is three mobility, 21 dodge. Yeah, the defense is okay because it m makes you less of a target but then again i mean tactical withdrawal seems better hmm a bit disappointing Right. Well, now we get ready for the final research. 13 days. That's how much we need to go through. Our action together is complete, Commander. More dodge. Fantastic. Which this year is would be another good one and just out of interest hogbite yeah i could use that extra health sure him and amri six days hogbite uh, and they even upgrade their uh, bond I think they are already at the next level, but it's more six days, uh, four plus one hit point than anything else that I'm interested in. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander, but there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate the alien threat. Yeah, we, we already have the best possible setup here. Yeah, we need to maybe squeeze in one more covert action. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to play it, but... Hmm. If we do not do it, then we are going to automatically lose this one here. What are, what are our uh, chances? Andromedon, Sectored Soldier, Chrysalid Broodmother, yeah, nice. Hmm. I don't know, after the last mission I am quite disappointed about just the normal missions. Maybe I can squeeze out a win. Certainly not going in with a main team. But yeah, there are there are chances to maybe squeeze out a win or get more 
ability points due to the ability point uh, overflow and that will then give our main team um, more talents so it actually would be not lucrative to completely skip it can't upgrade anything here i wish i could Yeah, we didn't want to use more than two ghost grenades. Yeah, I don't really need any of that. I think I'll do the mission. I just talked myself into it because I want uh, AP. And as long as we don't lose anyone, the worst thing that could happen is we're losing the region. <laughs> Okay, uh, then I need to invest Intel. At this point in the game, it is just about dragging our half-dead corpse over the finish line. Uh, well, or to the finish line where we are then going to be executed by a firing squad. Uh, because Waterworld is not going to be very easy. But you, you get the metaphor. Eight more days. Let's see... What else we can do here? Now, there are a couple of short term missions. There are a couple of shorter missions. Recruit another Templar. No, no, not going to happen. We also restricted us. No more Templars. Now, form soldier bond could be something. Increase combat intelligence. A lot of six and seven day missions because the way that I see it is uh, we do have eight uh, days, effectively five uh, with uh, teamwork training. And this is uh, then we can squeeze in another five day mission, maybe get a bonus on one of our operatives, and then it is time for the last mission. We are as strong as we could be. Uh, continuing to drag it out would really not serve any purpose. But I will uh, play the missions, uh, mainly because I think that there is uh, room for us to slightly get more AP. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the uh, ongoing fight against the Hive, uh, then uh, please leave a like button down below and make sure that it's not infested by chrysalids. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.